Rich, thanks. Road rage may have led to a hit and run accident that put four people in the hospital. Three children are among those injured when the pickup they were in collided with another car and rolled at Sheridan and Cedar in Denver. But the driver of the pickup may be to blame for the accident. 7 News anchor Mitch Dolniker is live outside St. Anthony's Hospital. And Mitch, the driver and the kids are okay, but we understand their mom is critically injured. And the mother is on life support here at St. Anthony Central here in Denver. And the extended family says in the meantime, they're hoping that someone out there in our audience saw something that can help. She is only alive on a ventilator and medicine. Melissa Arana can't believe her older sister was the victim of a car crash that could have easily been avoided. The family says Manuel Cruz, his common-law wife and three children, were on their way home from a 4th of July party when Manuel started revving his engine as though he was going to race another car. And my brother tried to swerve out of the way but had clipped his bumper. By the time the two cars got near Sheridan and Cedar, the family says tempers really flared and the family's pickup was sideswiped. Made my brother go into oncoming traffic and hit a SUV. Both adults weren't wearing seat belts and were thrown from the vehicle. Worse yet, the family believes Manuel may have been drunk at the time. My family's not pointing fingers or anything. We're, we're supporting Manuel. He knows what he did, but we're here to support Manuel. What's done is done. Now, the family says Manuel suffered a broken shoulder and a gash on the back of his head. They tell me that he has two days to turn himself in on DUI charges. Denver police won't confirm that. They say they're still investigating this whole incident. In the meantime, the three children are, are recovering at Children's Hospital, two of them with fractured skulls. Now, the family is hoping, once again, somebody saw something early this morning around 1 a.m., and maybe they could help police find the driver of this other car. He fled the scene, or maybe he'll turn himself in. Reporting live at St. Anthony Central, I'm Mitch Jelmaker, 7 News. All right, Mitch, thank you. Now, as Mitch said, police are looking for the other car involved in this accident. It is believed to be a silver Dodge Intrepid and likely has some body damage as a result of the accident. So, again, if you have any information, you are asked to call Denver Police.